What's up, YouTube? We're back again uh, with the third episode of our Valkyrie Chronicles 4 Let's Play. Uh, first two episodes went through pretty nicely. We got through the basics of it all and uh, finally got to our HQ. And now you're going to see things kind of start to settle in a lot more now that we're past a lot of the tutorial stuff. So, uh, we got... Oof. We got uh, our uh, next cutscene here. We'll view that real quick like. Things are going to start picking up from here from now on. And uh, then we'll be caught up to where the demo was. To the base yet? Yeah. Compared to the old camps, this is heaven on earth. Excellent. I expect you to put all this funding to good use. Sir, the commanders of squads A through I have assembled. A through I. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That's... That's nine squads in one, I'm going to assume, platoon. That's a lot of squads. Oh, Let's get man. down to business. I know Squad E just arrived, but we already have marching orders. Our mission is to capture a small town northeast of here. According to reports, Rain is one of the enemy's most valued comm centers. Which is why it's being guarded by a tank platoon. Oh boy. That complicates things. How are we talking a rush like a Russian sized tank platoon? Because that's three tanks. Or are we talking like an American sized tank platoon, which is four tanks? Squad then again, these squads infantry. are basically. Do we have the right equipment for urban and anti tank warfare? These squads are basically a platoon in and of themselves because they're led by lieutenants. So, I mean, best way to think. Well, then they also have a first sergeant, which makes no sense. I'm not going to question it anymore. <laughs> Don't worry. This time you'll have fire support. Military structuring is uh, getting to my head a lot. Once you infiltrate the city, simply relay the tank's coordinates to the field artillery team. I see you already thought this through. We also received intel that the Empire is inflating their numbers with decoys. If we can discern the real tanks from the fake, rain is as good as ours. Excellent work, Lieutenant. I'm glad I can depend on you. You flatter me, sir. <laughs> Impressed? Control info and you control the war. Join ops, huh? Coordinating with the fire support unit is gonna make or break this mission. <laughs> Try to minimize collateral damage. We plan on repurposing their gear for our own comm center. Minerva. You are to lure the enemy troops as far away from the city as possible. Consider it done. Squad E will then sneak in and gather intel for the field artillery team. Understood, sir. Interesting. Okay. Let's get to it. I bet we're going to have a little more commotion between Riley and, and uh, our friend here, aren't we? Yo, I hear we're moving out already. Oh, shame. I just scored a hot date with a Navy babe. <laughs> you wish. You got shut down. Hard. Uh, you were watching? Raz, what you do in your spare time is up to you. But when you're on duty, you represent the army. <laughs> Who are you, my mom? <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. You know what? Kai kind of would... I, th I feel like Kai would definitely be... A really good mother figure of the entire group. Anyway, you said we'd have fire support. Does that mean it's a joint operation? You guessed it. Yeah, Riley and Claude. What is this hey, conflict? Looks like you're still alive. I'm glad you're okay, too. They told me you'll be commanding my team. Oh, really? Well, then, I look forward to... Spare me. I already requested a transfer. Uh, oh. But orders are orders. Until my transfer goes through, 
You're in charge. Not that I expect real leadership from a scaredy clod. Hot damn. <sighs> what do you know, Riley? Come lately, you just got here. All bark and no bite, as always. You mind shutting up while the grown-ups talk? What the hell? It's been ten years, and that's how you greet an old friend? Uh, hi there, Riley. I know it's not my business, but Claude, uh, Lieutenant Wallace is a great commander. None of us would have made it this far without him. We trust him with our lives. And since we'll be working together, maybe you should, uh... I should trust him? I'm sure it's all sunshine and rainbows while you're winning. But when the chips are down... Running away is probably all he could manage. Cut it out, Riley. <sighs> the Empire took your family from you, not Claude. He's grown up since then. Judge him for who he is now. Leave it be, Kai. But... It's all right. Words can't change the past. I'll just have to rebuild. Rebuild what? Our trust. Huh? Riley, I'm gonna show you how much I've changed. At least give me a chance to prove myself. Let's make one thing clear. Unless it's for the mission, I do not take orders from you. Riley... Give me a break. Wow, she holds a lot of disdain against Claude for whatever happened back then. I guess the pressure kind of got to him. So, real quick, before we go into the mission, I know some of you guys are probably really, like, wanting me to get into it. We have a couple more things at the headquarters that we need to address. So, we're going to go uh, deal with those right now. First things first is the mess hall. And this is where you can learn new orders and stuff. What's the matter, Claude? I'm glad that we won, obviously. But when I see my comrades in arms lying wounded out there... We're not in boot camp anymore. This is war. If that's all it takes to get you down, you won't stand a chance when the bombs really come flying. I know that, alright? War means blood. War means death. Still, it doesn't make it any less painful to leave behind a comrade you know you could have saved. I'm not disagreeing with you, but tending to the wounded is the medic's responsibility, not ours. Sure, except when they're too far away to make it in time. Sometimes you can run as fast as you can to get help, and still get there too late. Hmm. Can't argue with that. If only we could relay the urgency of the situation to HQ. Perhaps like this? So, orders require XP. This is why you might want to save your XP, because the medic request, obviously, you just saw it cost 5,000 XP. And we have 71, because we burned it all in training. So, we're going to use this another time. I thought we were on the cusp of a pretty good order. We're going to have to grab that next time, whenever I feel the need to. I might mess around with orders a bit more. I'm not entirely sure. I've never really found a use in them. I've typically done very well without them. Uh, last but not least, we have the private quarters here. But yeah, orders I never really cared too much about. So, private quarters is basically just your glossary. So you can see the personnel you have that you've unlocked, etc., etc. And then you have your decorations and such. So yeah, here's all our uh, current troopers. And you can view models of them too. So we'll go to best girl here, obviously. And uh, yeah, you can see we can change outfits. If we had more outfits, we move the model around. We move the camera around, and uh, yeah, you got uh, all the goodness there. <clears throat> that is Kai, right there. Beautiful woman, beautiful. And then you have a little bit of a description there too, as including age, which is really interesting, especially for some of these characters here. So you see they're all around early 20s, something like that, so except for some of them. Uh, where is she? So Karen is 17. Ragnarok here is age 10. Look at this guy. Look how happy this pup is. He's so cute. 
Uh, some of these guys, though, you have at like 16, which is crazy. But yeah, here you have Godwin, who's 35. Like, this is what I meant. This is more of like a game of people that are. Here you go. I think Nico's the youngest member in your squad at 16, aside from Ragnarok, obviously. Yeah, some of them are 26, 18, 24. Like, this is the craziest thing about it that I've, that I've really enjoyed. Like, this guy's 63, and he's still he's still kicking. That's insane. So you have to pay attention to your potentials as well, because, you know, some of these older guys obviously will have uh, some really bad potentials because of bad backs and stuff like that. Uh, the first game had characters similar to this, where they had... Uh, where they were older and stuff, but it was mostly about the really younger kids. But you can see all these guys are around mid-20s, uh, late-teens, somewhere around there. So, yeah, it's pretty uh, awesome to have a game with it's more mature. And then you have all your uh, weapon systems here. You have your full glossary of all this stuff, so you can get really into the woods of it uh, if you want to if you want to get into it. Uh, news articles are here as well, so you can read these and you know get all the information about what's going on. And about stuff that's going to go on as well. So they're talking about mortars and stuff. Decorations, here's the really important part. So you have uh, your decorations here. These are all your medals. Um, statistics, obviously. Bum, 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 including your uh, battles and such as well. So you got all that. And then your tutorials, if you need to browse through any of the tutorials to learn some stuff. That's all there. So we're going to browse. We're going to... Uh, hop out of there and uh, launch into the mission here. This is going to be a little bit brutal, I feel like. Our goal is to liberate Rain. <clears throat> We've confirmed multiple heavy tanks, but suspect that many of them are fake. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven markers. This is a platoon we're talking about, so maybe four tanks. <clears throat> Squad E's to infiltrate the city and relay the tank's locations to our artillery. A thick fog is causing poor visibility, so you'll need to get close to confirm which ones are decoys. Remember, your task is to locate the heavy tanks for fire support. Do not engage them. And there's a safeguard in this uh, for that. So, our failure, if Kai dies, apparently we fail. So we're going to have Kai uh, take up an infantry slot. Uh, let's see here. We get nine slots in total. Two of them are occupied, so seven people we can deploy. So obviously, first things first, I want Roz and Zyga. Lock They're going to be my two right-hand men. Here I go. Uh, I want a couple scouts up front right away. This is going to be a lot of searching that goes on in this mission, so let's get my scout team. We'll get Jester, All right. uh, I'll do Teresa... Something out there. Here? Millennia, and then taking position. Brittany. No, we're not actually engaging the tanks in this one, so we don't need any lancers. Uh, scouts will be very, very, very useful in this. I feel like artillery would help us out as well, but I don't think it's going to be too helpful. Uh, we'll bring. I'll bring an engineer. Uh, we'll bring Allard. All right, here we go. And let's see here. Bum, 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 bum. Aladdin Lawrence Curtis. Who's Curtis? I don't have Curtis. Curtis was a Curtis was a shock trooper. That's why I took him out in the very beginning. Um. We'll bring Godwin as well. Godwin will bring up the rear I'll flank what I want. with his uh, ability, uh, with his lone wolf ability. So it looks like we're going to go straight on and to the right. Um, having played this mission before, I can tell you there's a gate at the front, so you have to go right. You can't go straight forward. So that's just something we got to deal with. All right. Uh, let's do it then. I think we got it. We got it as good as we're going to get it for now. That is all. Be sure not to miss a single tank. <gasps> Locate the decoys and confirm the real tank's positions. Squatty, move out! Some of the, uh, as you can tell, the English dub 
uh, voice lines are <laughs> synced very well. Uh, well, we got a useless tank that's just going to be sitting here for a while. This fog will make finding the real tanks interesting. Yeah, we can't spot the decoys until we're practicing. I'm going to breeze top. through a lot of this um, with the scouts, cover which is doing a lot of really, really hard pushing with the scouts. And uh, yeah, we should be all right then. Though I can't speak for Raz. Say what? Claude, I need to go over something with you. No, you're going to go over a tutorial with me. And we're going to talk about orders again. So you can use CP to issue special orders. Basically, they provide really good buffs, and some of them require more than one CP. That's it. That's all you need to know about orders. Again, I'm not the best person to talk to about utilizing the orders, as uh, I tend to not utilize them at all. So yeah, there you go. There's... Okay, so the black X's mean that they are not crushable by armor. So, looks like, yeah, this... That's not passable by tanks, so this is all infantry territory here. Which will be really, really interesting. This is an outpost, or a watchtower, that's what that marker means. Uh, so I think our pathway is most definitely... There's the most definitely, because there's... What do they say? There's one tank here and one tank here, something like that. We know there's four here, there's one over here. We'll spot some more as we go as well, and uh, just kind of confirm as we go what we got. But I think first things first, we'll get Roz this. and Zyga moving on up. I'm trying to move here. What the hell? This How could good. you not see the main oh. gates blocked off? Looks like the controls are on the other side. Raz. Yeah, yeah. You're not talking about the hop. Alright. Got enemies here! Now's your chance! Go for it! Get into an ambush position here. Because so I know I'm going to have dudes probably pop up there on the left, and I got that dude on my right side as well. So we'll get Roz in position. So this is what they were talking about. Uh, if it's an ally that they like, they'll they'll tend to do a co-op attack. I, I like to call them buddy attacks because terminologies are a thing. All right, we're gonna push up Zyga as well. Try to, we'll try to get close here. Oh yeah. Alright, so both of them are in position. That guy moves up at all, he's gonna get toasted. Anything moves on this side, they're gonna get toasted. Uh, let's get Kai involved here, and then we'll push up our scouts. Come on, Kai, get that booty moving. Let's provide support with the Hoffman. Cool. That works. Alright, next. Uh, we'll push up our scouts then. So we'll get Teresa moving up first because she's the farthest one on the left. So Teresa, you're going to move on up as far as you can without getting into trouble. Uh, let's tag this tank real quick. There you go, decoy. So this rando engineer over here. Hold out. You see just how far you can get with the scouts. And this is why I love them. Enemy spotted. So we'll pop up out of the grass. We'll gain a surprise attack bonus here. And two shots to kill straight to the face. Go for it. The there we go. Perfect, Teresa. This is why I love the scouts. Got em. Scouts Target actually have destroyed. really, really They're powerful destroyed. weaponry, which is awesome. However, their health isn't the best, so that's always something you want to be very careful of. God, I have to work. All right, we'll push around with Jester this time. Move to flank them. All units, step it up. All right, cool. That works. Um, 
millennia. You're going to push up with them just to make sure that they're going to be all right. Go over the cover, please. And go over the cover. Thank you. So either way, we got to go all the way around. So we're going to do some urban tactics here. Make sure we cover all corners. All right. And Godwin, you're up. Not like I have a choice, he says. All right, dude. You're the lone wolf. What did you expect? The artillery team can deal with the team. You just friends. got them out. I found them. All right, so the prone unit is going to intercept. Um, scouts are really good about that, which is nice. And then you can use grenades to flush them out. So this hooligan here. We're just going to plop a frag on his face. Boom. Issue dealt with. Our allies have been taken out. All right, now we've cleared this sector. We're going to go up to this tank. And we're going to see if it's real. Boom, boom, bada, boom. Um, I don't have to worry about the Edelweiss or any of these guys back here, so just I'm just going to move way. Godwin again. Found them. There you so are. that is a live tank. Plot? All right. Oh, 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 it's just a <laughs> for Let's go pop this guy in the face real quick. Uh, three shots to kill at this distance. Not a big fan of that. Let's get closer. Watch out for counter attack. I think we're close enough here. <laughs> I hope we're close enough here. Three shots straight to the face. Do it. Like yeah. That. And I will take this outpost. Uh, I'm going to no call sorry. in another Kill scout me, here. Not bad out there. Look at these tactics. Baba Booey. There we go. So now we got the camp. And now we're just going to hold here. Oh, there's a possible tank over there. I wonder, do I have the stamina to get over there, though? Let's try it. Leave the town in one piece, all right? Oh, not enough. We'll have to investigate that in a second. However, I'm no longer near the camp, so an enemy could hop in there and capture it right under, right out from under me if they wanted to. Which they probably will here in a second. We'll see. How can you see that, Godwin? I can't even see that. You guys have to deal with the squeaky chair again. I'm sorry. I plan on buying a new chair soon. We'll see. Yeah, this guy's going to come down the street and shoot Godwin in the back and take the outpost. Yeah, the enemies will always prioritize outposts when they can. Alright, cool. They're going to save the rest of their AP for that. So we know the tank's right there, the question mark at the bottom right. Uh, so we want to be pretty cheeky, breaky, careful about that. I'm going to hold these guys here just because they just won't have the movement to keep up. Uh, first things first, let's check me. if this is an actual live tank or not. If it is, I am going to be screwed. It's just now telling us about potentials, by the way, which is hilarious. Okay, that's a fake tank. Good. All right, I can't really see him from here. I think that's his face. There we go. First shot. Good work, Godwin. No sweat. Target destroyed. Very good. All right, now we're gonna proceed down the line here. This is a tank. Here you are. Yes, that is an actual tank. Meaning we're gonna have to dip into. Great cover here Whoop. before he engages me <laughs> now this is interesting you have this tall grass here which can aid you in cover right 
Oh, I can't even shoot him, that's right, because I already shot. So I'm going to get positioned like so, so I can pounce on this guy when he tries to move down the alley. So Godwin's all set up the way I want him to be. Uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to call in another scout. Let's see. We'll call in Nico. And then when Nico comes in, she's going to help me clear out this right side here with the rest of my scout team. And these guys are going to push up on the left side. It's basically the same way Godwin went. It's going to take him a little bit to get up there just because they're so far behind. Is that the but, enemy? I mean, meh. Wait and see what they do. I think I found them. All right, cool. Millennia, you can hold there. We're going to try something saucy with Jester that I don't think is going to... No, I'm not going to try that. Never mind. I was thinking I'm going to try to get Jester around the front side of the tanks so I can save AP. So I don't have to go all the way around, but that is more than likely not going to work the way I want it to. The only downside is if that tank turns its turret and decides to launch a mortar at us, we're probably going to be a bit shafted here. But then again, Godwin can scout this out all by himself anyways, and we'll be perfectly fine. My head is it's, it's extremely hot right now. I don't know why. Are you sure you can push them back? This doggo hat that I'm wearing uh, that I got with the Collector's Edition, whew, it's really heating me up. One sec, guys. All right, there we go. So that's all done there. Now I think we pretty much just need to keep on keeping on here. Uh, so yeah, whoever spawns here is going to check out this right side. I'm going to spawn another one just in case, just so we have the help that I'll most likely need. Because uh, my engineer is all the way back here. Um, squad rush is full. Whoops. Um, da da da. Nah, we're good. I'm fine. Uh, let's push up Millennia, Understood. and then we'll push up Jester. They're in range. I think I found them. Calm down. We need suppressive fire now. All right, so best bet is to just frag this guy real quick, like. There's one behind him, too, so we got to watch out for that guy. Um, I think that guy's far enough away where I can capture that outpost, so I'm going to capture this real quick. Incoming! I did it! Okay, so we captured the outpost. Why does it do that? I don't know why it flips flips my camera around like that. Stop before he gets another salvo off. Alright. And we'll move Jester. Come up. That way so we're nice and spread out here. Yeah, you heard it, you heard it. It wanted to turn its gun. It really wants to turn its gun Calm towards down. us. We need to press Pretty girl makes everything better. Jester's the real MVP. All right, so you see in the top right there, this is what I call the buddy team tactic. Uh, both of them are going to engage this guy at the same time, which is awesome. Weapons tight. Oh, because I. Is to find the tanks, not attack them. Let's... So Claude's going to yell at us here because you know one of our stray rounds hit the freaking tank in the back, which might not actually be a tank. Alright, so we're going to have our other two guys come up on the right side there and check all those guys out. There we go. Allied reinforcements have arrived. So, again, let's push up Godwin. Oh, look, I have a choice. Found them. Squad F certainly has the edge in scouting ability. Alright. 
So I'm gonna, I'm not, I, the re, I, there's a really good reason I didn't check that one, because it doesn't seem like they're gonna shoot at us until we actually, uh, come up on them, basically. Until we actually discover that they're real or not, is what I'm trying to get at. So I don't want to trigger any of these tanks that might be real. Oh, look, I have a choice. kind of want to bring in a mortar now, because I can probably hit these guys. Yeah, okay, here's what we'll do. Godwin, go for it. That'll push our tank up, and he can take some hits, and then I'm going to bring the engineer right behind him. Right behind our tank, and then our tank can deal with these two mortarmen here. Woo! Baby! That was saucy. So hopefully that tank's not real, because if I discover it here, he has a, cl a clean line of sight on Godwin. Yeah, We're going to poke it real quick to make sure, though. Yep, it's real. We found... Okay. Cool, cool. Woo. So he's gonna be very angry on the other side of that wall there. That's perfectly fine. He can be angry. So we used up quite a lot of turns with Godwin there. Let's push up Teresa. Remember, I still got my. T I gotta remember, I still have my two scouts in the back at the outpost that I need to uh, address here in a second. Find out where those tanks are. Okay, Don't let the you. Is there one more on this far right here? I don't think there is. Okay, I need to check out this tank Anyone right injured? here. I'm gonna hit this Lancer. Oh, actually. This is right here. I'll just check this real quick. This okay, you need to run. Watch out! They're on to you! Check this one out. Okay. I think that's all of them except for the ones that uh, we need to address in the right side of the map. This guy's gonna take four shots to kill. Please don't miss. Yes, there we go. Good work, Teresa. Excellent. Uh, where are we? Oh, we are not in a safe place. I was about to say, are we in a safe place where I can just end my turn here? We'll hide behind the decoy tank. Um. Okay, Nico. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. Okay, are you real? No, you're fake. Ice for attack. You're fake. I found them. What are your orders? <laughs> the Lord is on. Four shots to kill. Can you hit all four, Nico? Let's provide support with the hoppin. Hit one. Nice try. Wow. She has like no HP. Uh, we might need to flank around the back here. Jester, let's go I'm for up. it. Uh, let's find out if this tank right here is real or not. Okay, good. You're fake. Nice. And then we'll come around the back and do a surprise attack on this asshole. Bingo. There we go. Beautiful. That's worth a raise, right? Excellent work, Jester. Alright, I think we just have this tank, and we should be good then, right? We found them all. So yeah, let's. No, we haven't talked. We haven't done that one up top. Um, let's do this one up top first, and then we'll come okay, around to that I'm one over there because that one I don't think will activate its gun until we discover it. So yes, hello, Uriel. We found. Okay. All right. We found out he's real. We're we coming back. Spicy. Spicy memes.
We're taking major damage. Okay. That was a really good shell. Oh. Oh, he's being assisted by his shock troopers. So the shock troopers can assist each other. Very interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to push the Hoffin forward. And I'm going to put a mortar on these two assholes. Yeah, I definitely should do that then. Okay, our last tank that we need to discover... Oh, there's one on the left side here too, damn it. So I will need to eliminate these shock troopers then. <coughs> and I'll need to distract that tank just enough. Uh, so Nico, tag this one real quick. This is cheeky. Oh, we apparently found them all. Something isn't right. So there's six tanks What's in wrong, an Miles? Imperial platoon. Let's keep that in mind. Our signal's jammed. We can't radio fire support. What? But we need that artillery. They can't fire at random, and they can't even contact that. We should get out of here before we're surrounded. Claude! <laughs> okay, good. They're late. Have you heard from the front line? They were supposed to report in ages ago. I've been hailing them, but there's no response. You hailed them? What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Lieutenant Miller, the enemy knows our position! They triangulated our radio signals, moron. Oh no, we're done for! They almost got us! They only got the general direction. They won't land a direct hit that easy. But it won't be long before they do! Lieutenant, we have to retreat! If we run away, Claude's dead. And Squad E with him. Hold your ground until I say otherwise. At this rate, we'll all be killed. What if we're waiting for an order that never comes? <sighs> the chips are down, Claude. And you're MIA. It's just like before. If you really have changed, then prove it to me. Alright, cool. So it's basically going to regroup all your units, which is nice. Enemy soldiers incoming from the west. Trapped like friggin' rats. The hell are we going to do? We can't even contact Lieutenant Victor. This mission's a failure, Claude. Only you can give the order to retreat. After we've come so far? <sighs> Claude? No retreat. Our job is to tell fire support where to aim. And that's what we're gonna do. But how can we if we can't call them? The answer is... That tower! Huh? Oh, that's a signal tower. Back in the day, they'd switch up the numbers to send out messages. Sniper team, can you hit those panels? From here? Of course. Good, then get ready. We can use that tower to send coordinates to the field artillery team. Shooting the panels Cheeky. should change their numbers. I'll tell you what to display. First, make the top row say, 715. Roger that. Alright, cool. So we just gotta peg a bunch of towers here. Now what really sucks is you do lose um, your base. <laughs> All the bases that you just captured are now gone. So you do have to get those back. However, it's not too big of a loss. You can pretty much... It, it tells you where you can hit these towers from, which is really nice. So uh, yeah, first things first, we'll hop on with Kai here and we'll hit this tower. All right, Kai. Let's do it. You think they'll fall for this? I was gonna say it'd be just my luck that I'd hit the very bottom. That's supposed to tell them where the tanks are. They probably won't even notice. It's a grid coordinate. Wait a minute. 
top row doesn't look like a coordinate. I wonder what's the bottom two are grid coordinates. Good work, Kai. Now ring the bell five times. Five times? <laughs> wow. July 15th. That takes me back. Hmm. You're using six digit grid coordinates, which are accurate within 100 meters, so, uh. Spicy memes, boys. You sure they're gonna figure this out? Don't worry. Riley will definitely know what it means. Then again, they are using, like. They have to be using some pretty heavy artillery. That's. Uh, one of those was pretty danger close, I'm not gonna lie. See? They did it! They destroyed the tanks! Slick shooting. Those were both direct hits. Looks like your code made it through to Riley. Yeah. Kinda weird that Raz didn't get it, though. Okay. On to the next ones. Shoot a different tower and make the top row say 715. Alright, cool. Um... I don't want to go north. Oh. Because there's a uh, pretty big Gucci tank over there, so I think what I'll do is. So oh hungry. shit! I was not expecting hooligans over here. Um, Roz, Zyga, you're up. <laughs> Let's get you in position. So yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in around the front here. Thirty shots to kill in the face. God! I'm out of range. Damn it. All right, we're gonna hold him here. We're gonna get our next guy up. We're Zyga. Hey Raz, check this out. And then, yeah, I think what I'll do then is I'll push. Keep calm and move uh, I might have to push the rest of the infantry to the north, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Let's go! Watch out for counter okay. Yeah, I'll do that. These guys will hold this line. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll have to push everybody else up the other way. There was a real tank over here. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, they just destroyed it. That's right. I forgot about that. Durder. Oh shit! There's a lot of dudes all over the damn place here. Let's see. Teresa, can you land three? Oh, that's not. That's not gonna help at all. Do not attack the tank. She Let almost landed three handle. though, even with her accuracy down potential. <laughs> That was insane. All right, I gotta watch out for these two over here on the left. They're gonna definitely flank. Uh, so I have Teresa up there. Let's get Jester. Is that the one that likes Teresa? Yes, Jester. Oh, I have to you're coming work. Up. All right, so we'll bring Jester up and around here to help out, help finish that guy off. Go, perfect. My lucky day. All right, I definitely should have brought Kai up north. Now that I'm looking at it, so let's do that real quick. Uh, we'll spend some extra action points on Kai to bring her up north. Roz and Zyga can hold there for now; they'll be fine. In all honesty, yeah, they'll most likely be fine there. <laughs> Um, yeah, we still have like one or two tanks over there, so we want to make sure we keep eyes out for that. Uh, Kai, yeah. I'm going to move you again, just to get you just that much more closer as possibly, as close as I possibly can, basically. Alright, and last CP spent will go for Millennia. Here I go. Finish up my scout trio. The intel was right. 
Uh, let's put it in between these two so we may or may not hit one or two of them there. Piss them off a little bit. And that's our turn. We're looking good. Oh man. It's only been four turns. Oh. Oh no, if he hits me with that. I was about to say. Uh. They don't do any area damage, but if you get directly hit with a Lancer's Lance, it hurts a lot. Alright, so here's the issue. These guys are going to come in right behind my units. Uh-oh. Are we about... We're not able to retaliate against that? Nope. Ah. I figured I had him grouped up a little bit too much there. an engineer there, okay. Hopefully these guys will turn and react to this guy coming up. There we go, good. Excellent. Snipers. Is he gonna say this every turn until I do it? <laughs> Alright, uh let's get Godwin. Just don't get running. in my way. Godwin, shoot this guy in the back. I'm too close. Watch out for counter attack. I'm too close. <laughs> I couldn't do point bank range on him. Damn it. Whoa, crap. You like that? Shoot over my ally. <laughs> Luckily like he ducked. This is a little bit hectic here. Uh, let me get my scout team up. Chester, you're up first. Makes everything better. <laughs> I love Jester. He's great. His name makes so every character named Jester. Like they always seem to be really good characters for some reason. All right, we're gonna start with front to back. Let's make it better. This is not the time to have the accuracy down, my dude. Luckily, I had Godwin shooting with you. Ugh. That would have been brutal. Alright, you're gonna hold there. Let's get Teresa up. Uh, I want to say go for center mass, but just focus on those crits. Yeah, there we go. Just still want to focus on those crits because you're still doing more damage. And I got three other shooters with him, so there's that going for it. Understood. Keep calm and move on. All right, I need to pop this guy, and then we need to go capture that base. Perfect. Target destroyed. Very good. Excellent work. Is that the enemy? Sally, I did it. All right, and then I'll push my scouts to cover the lane while I uh, have Kai cross over. Shit, they took our base. So I'll have Kai evacuate. Uh, where are they at? Jester. Lady Lux on our side. Oh, come on, Jester. Better. Let's go. All right. 
Jester's gonna push up here. I'll get him on this side of the uh, barricade, that way so I have a little bit more spacing. We kind of learned our lesson with that grenade about uh, what spacing is. And uh, now we'll move up to Risa here. So that one says 7 -1. Can I hit it with my rifle? We'll try it. No, you need a sniper to hit it. That's kind of dumb. That's a little bit dumb, if I don't say so. If I dare say so. Kai coming back in, and that'll end our turn. Kai will pop up this turn, and then we'll move down the alley with him. We'll move down the right side with Kai. Uh oh. God damn it! Ow. See what I mean? See what I mean? You get hit directly with a Lancer shot, you are shafted. These guys are not going to stand a chance. <laughs> I have my two best shock troops there, as well as my tank on standby. Ooh, that might hurt. <laughs> if he hits, Jesus. I don't want to risk that too much. The enemy seems to always have really good RNG. I don't know why. Don't give him a chance to shoot. Yeah, nice work. I don't know why. Sometimes the AI just continues to run at you. And then sometimes they make the smart move where they throw the grenade, like that one guy did. Make the top yeah, he is going to say this every single round. Jesus. Alright, Kai. I need you to hit this. And then we're going to use all our AP to get you across to the next set. Boom. Awesome. Good. Those are the right coordinates. Ring the bell, Kai. You got it. Yeah, music to my ears. Alrighty. Let's keep it going. The next tower is the last. Snipers. 715 up top, right? Yeah, it was a little bit bland for voice lines. Oh well. I need backup. Uh let's. Let's see if I can hit it from this tower. I bet you I can't. Moving out. But why not try, you know? Enemy sighted. Well, we might be able to. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Ringing the bell. And with that, uh, so in the demo, this took me like nine turns to complete because I I did not understand any of the concept of that. Our tank platoon is wiped out. Impossible. Are they gonna throw another objective at so us or what? All right, we're pulling out. Make it quick. They beat an awfully hasty retreat, considering how many troops they had left. They lost their race in the hole. Heck. I'd withdraw if I was in their shoes. Awaiting orders. Should we pursue? <clears throat> Negative. Our job is to capture the comm center. No reason to overextend ourselves. Now let's finish up the mission. Split up and find their radio Interesting. Equipment. On it, boss. All right, boys. One more job to do. The only Come time on. a force would just get up and leave like that is... <sighs> If they're running like a scorched Save earth campaign all. where when they Thank lose territory, right. they just burn it all. Unless the 
Unless they're just that incompetent with it. Ah, oh, B rank. That means I took, well, I think I took one too many turns. I think that's what happened there. I, yeah, I probably could have done that in five turns, I bet. All right, now we got some great episodes You certainly impressed up someone in that last battle. Oh, I got a lot of, ooh. In Robinson M91 R's. All kinds of good shit, Jesus. All right. Well, uh, we got some pretty touching episodes upcoming here, so we'll get into it here. Oh, man, Miles. You should have seen the look on your face. You try keeping your cool with a bomb landing next to you. Raz, Miles, come help me gather some parts we need. Uh, can't you do that on your own? Oh. Come on, Raz, let's go. Where are they all headed? Timing. Now we can talk in private. Riley. Mind if I sit down? Oh, uh, be my guest. July 15th is coming up soon. Remember how excited we'd get for the Star Child Festival? We'd all run up the clock tower, and the first five kids to reach the top would ring the bell. I remember the winners got to wear a Star Child medal. And every year you wore yours with pride. I always looked up to you. I loved that festival. Almost as much as I loved winning. That's why I knew you'd recognize the signal. You dingus. For all you know, I might have forgotten. Not you. There's no way you'd forget those memories. You really do trust me, huh? The only reason I didn't retreat was out of stubborn pride. I was this close to leaving you for dead, though. Honestly, I didn't think you'd find a way out. And yet, here we are. I canceled my transfer request, by the way. I'll give you another shot. At least long enough to confirm you're not a scaredy clod. And it's your job to prove it. It's a little late, but I look forward to working with you. The city is... Look at rain! What's going on? Riley, come on! did this. He set fire to the city so we couldn't take it. Scorched Earth campaign. I fucking knew it. They pretended to withdraw but left agents inside. How could they? There are still civilians in there. Did the communications officers make it out? The whole city was doused with napalm. Once the flames started spreading, it was already too late. No. Riley, get a hold of yourself. The fire. No. Dad. Dad. 
Hey, stay with me. This isn't Hoffman. Your dad's not in there. <laughs> Riley! <laughs> Come on, Claude. Don't let her run away. Don't let her run away. No! The chapter ends. Interlude. Squad E assembles. Interlude? New skirmish. Okay. So these must be like flashbacks or something then. Well, guys, um, we're going to call it a night. Uh, it is like... What time is it now? It's almost 3 a.m. in the morning. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content. And always leave a comment. I try to read any comments I possibly can. And I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Uh, either way, Panda, check in out.